Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, Robert and I are in the kitchen this Saturday morning. This is Heavenly Cooking with Kathy and Robert. No, it's just and Robert. if anybody just else has got this video up on their page, it's because they stole it. Just so you know, I did not give anybody my video. So please don't encourage thieves. Uh, <laughs> we put too much work into these for other people to take our stuff and make money off of it. It's just, that's not right. That's stealing. So anyway. They they stole her last one and had 100,000 people on it, so we're slowly building this one up. So if you see somebody stealing videos, it has consequences. Irritated and far out of her. Yeah, it does, because, you know, you spend a lot of time and effort and resources, and then people just think, oh, well, I'll just steal her stuff and put it on my page like it belongs to me, and it doesn't. And then you have all these people that are down here commenting on it. They don't even know it's not... Mine, you know. All right, enough of that. Let's see. But anyway, <laughs> I told everybody I would let everybody know the name of my page. And, and you know, if you're looking for me, it's Heavenly Cooking. It's got my picture in a pink shirt. So, you know, and I know they're able to steal pictures and they're able to do whatever. But I'm just letting you know, I've got one page and one page only. No more. None. All right, what are okay. we making today, Kathy? Uh, we're going to be making some lemon blueberry bread in a little bit, but I thought I'd just make a little short video of Robert juicing. He's already zested the lemons. We've got the zest here. It's probably about two and a half teaspoons. And he's four gonna, lemons, right? Yep. He's going to uh, juice the lemons here. All right. That's already, uh, almost two ounces out of half the lemon, so I'm gonna zest the other, or I'm gonna juice the other half of the lemons. Put Kathy's little thing here. Yeah, we've got the little handheld thing and he likes to use it, but now I use the one that's electric because my old hands can't do that very good. But we're trying to get five tablespoons. Um, I made this bread last week and it was very tart. Well, I didn't think it was fit to eat. <laughs> Because I, I was working on the recipe a little bit, and I've worked, reworked it a little bit today, uh, trying to get it the best, you know. But anyway, Robert wouldn't even take the lemon bread to work with him because he was afraid people wouldn't like it because it was so lemony. You know, if you like lemony, this one's lemony. And But anyway, when he finally did get the nerve to take it to work, everybody loved it. <laughs> they liked it better than the others, better than the pumpkin and the apple, I think, or some people did. But um, anyway, we're working on it, and we're going to get it. Now, come back me. You can talk. I'll show them what we're doing. Uh, oh, you can show them, honey. Right, we got this little rinky-dink thing here. You cut the lemons in half. This is just grunt work, so I'm doing it for her. It smells good in here, though. You could probably use uh, store-bought lemon juice, but this is going to make a lot better bread. If you're going to spend the money to make it, buy you a few lemons and juice them and zest them and make good bread, you know. If you like what Robert calls punch you in the mouth lemon. <laughs> That's getting so much pulp I can't get it. Well, I'll strain it. I yeah. strain it anyway, so don't worry about it. Yeah, it's starting to. All right, so what we're making has eggs in it. So here's my survey question of the day. What do we see? At the cheapest, cheapest place, Aldi's, was $4 a dozen. $4. All right, so you all in the comments, what are you all paying for normal, regular eggs, not the... Free range expense ones, blah, blah, blah. Just the normal eggs. See, see who's got the highest price. Eggs. My sister was telling me in Virginia Beach that hers were $5 a dozen, right? I don't know. I can't Crazy remember. money. Yeah. But uh, that's my question of the day. How much are your eggs? I'm not hiding from you all. I'm just kind of over to the side while he's just letting you all see him juice the lemons and uh, if you got any cuts on your hands, you're going to find out real <laughs> fast like. But it smells good. Yeah. The house always smells really good when you're doing something with lemon. If you like lemon. Yeah. Uh, I even thought about doing a citrus loaf where you use orange juice, lemon juice, and lime juice. And I may try that on a fix a recipe for that. But there you go, <laughs> Kathy. I think we've got enough here. You just You want five tablespoons of lemon juice. Last time we had extra, and I bet we got extra. We had a little time. extra, and I probably added a little extra to it. Because Robert's always saying that most of the time things that say they're lemon, that they don't really taste lemony, you know? They're just kind of a real, just 
just a, so, it's more of a chemical lemon than a real lemon, you know, and it's not very stout. So, well, I made this and I thought, this ought to get it done. This ought to, this ought to work. So, let him finish that right there and I've got everything ready over here and we'll start in just a minute making the lemon bread. All right, guys, we're ready to start the lemon bread. And the first thing you're gonna need is three cups of plain flour. Now I'm using a cake flour, uh, but you can use just plain flour, it'll work fine. Um, and you use the plain, because we're gonna be adding baking powder, baking soda, and salt to it. We'll be adding all the leavening agents. Okay. Now, let me get my cup back down in my flour. Put it over to the side. I always close up my flour because you don't want to ever speck anything wet in this because it will mold. So you, you always keep your flour dry. Don't ever have a lid off of it sitting out where you could, you know, just the least little amount of knocking something in it could mess it up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two cups of white sugar. You're adding all your dry ingredients right now. And this is two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a three quarter teaspoon of salt. And you're gonna take a picture of this recipe, right, Kathy? Yeah, I'll put the recipe online with a picture of the lemon loaf once I get it done. Um, then I'm gonna take my, my utensil here and kind of stir that up a little bit. I put some wet ingredients in it. Now, the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need um, one third cup of oil, vegetable oil, four tablespoons of melted butter. Let me get my spatula here and get that butter off there because that leaves a lot of butter in there. Three-fourths cup of buttermilk. Can't use any other kind of milk, right, Kathy? You can use sweet milk. You can use What is it. sweet milk? What is that? That's just regular milk that oh. you drink. Okay. That's what you call sweet milk. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just... Um, buttermilk just gives lemon things a better taste. We're going to put three eggs. I'm going to put three jumbo if you use large, you put four. And that's what I'm going to write the recipe as. But the only thing I have right now are some jumbo eggs, so I'm using three of these. If you can pause it just a minute, honey, I need some eggs. Okay, he went out and got me some more eggs out of the refrigerator. And I'm putting my third egg in here. Now remember, I said these are jumbo eggs. But if you're going to use large eggs, you want to use four, okay? Now we're gonna put our lemon zest. This is about two and a half teaspoons of lemon zest. May have to take your hand and kinda of get a little bit of it out. That's the most tedious job of this cooking thing, <laughs> is zesting and lemons. Let me shut that up. And I strained my lemon juice. I strained it through one of these little boogers. And I get all the seeds and any big pieces of pulp out. And what I wanna do now is I wanna measure out uh, five tablespoons. So I'm gonna. Okay, there's four tablespoons right there. And then. Whoop. Look at all that extra lemon. I got. What am I gonna do? There's with? the other. We will not waste that lemon juice. Yeah. We'll make something else, won't we, Kathy? Yep. Yep. I put it in the refrigerator, put it in my tea. I'll do something with it. Yeah. Now we're gonna stir it just a little bit. And I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Let me check everything. Okay, there's my flour, baking powder, put those in sugar, eggs, butter, oil, vanilla, lemon juice, lemon zest, buttermilk. Okay, we got it all in here. Now, one thing I'm gonna to do today that you don't have to do is I'm gonna put a drop or two of yellow food coloring in it because this bread doesn't have the typical yellow color. So I'm gonna add just a couple of drops of food coloring to it. 
to kind of make it look yellow. More like you expect lemon to be. And like you don't, the store bought stuff. Yeah, you don't have to add it though. Okay, now let me get my spatula. What to do with it? Stir down around the edges. Because my mixer sometimes will not get the very bottom or right around the edges. So you just got to help it a little bit. But that's okay. Yeah. You got to help me sometimes, right, Gabby? Yeah. <laughs> help me with a frying pan. Yeah. Or a rolling pin. Yeah. But you know what, fellas? I have to straighten out you off. You know what, fellas and ladies? I can run faster than her. <laughs> but she does know where but I... But he's got to come home and go to sleep. That's right. Now. I got to sleep. And he's going to go in there and get in that bed. And if he does too much, I'll come in there at the frying pan and work him over. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sometimes he gets off on these tangents when he gets stressed is when Robert gets kind of moody and he can't, uh, he, get, he, get, he gets kind of hard to, to, to deal with, you know, so I have to straighten him out. I say, okay, now, honey, straighten up, straighten up. How much will these make, Kathy? This will make two, uh, I think my loaf pans are nine by five. I'm not sure, but that's the size loaf pan. You can see it right there in front of my head. <laughs> yeah. and, or you can use the disposable loaf pans that you buy at Walmart or other places. They're smaller than this. It makes about three of those. Anytime there's three cups of flour, it's going to make about three of those uh, loaf pans, the throwaway loaf pans. And you can make a whole bunch of the little loaf pans if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to clean my counter off a little bit right here because that's where I set my loaf pans to fill them, so I don't want anything on the bottom. Now, let me dry it off a little bit. We go through about four or five of these, uh, what do you call them? Dish towels. Dish towels every video, yeah. so when you okay. all see her wipe up that soapy stuff, that'll be in the washer by this evening. I wash a lot of things. <laughs> um, Uh-oh, I see a little bit of nah, that's got soap on it. No, it doesn't. Busted you out, son. No. Hurt I'm just pestering her. It doesn't have soap on it. Um, there was just a little bit of water right there, so I got that out. What we're going to do is we're going to spray these with uh, cooking spray. You want to give them a good douse. And the first time I did this, I covered my blueberries in flour and I stir, I folded them in. You know, I did it as easy as I could. And the berries still all want to go to the bottom. So this time I'm going to do a little different. I'll see how it works today. We'll see. I'm going to coat the blueberries in flour, but I'm going to drop them in and then pour more batter on top of them. So we're going to do it that way. And I've got some blueberries right here, right now. And I've washed them and I had them over here kind of getting most of the water off. You don't want to get all of it off because you got to put that flour on them. Uh-oh, Kathy. I'll get it. Boy, I poured a bunch out. <laughs> they hid from me. There's one right there. I'll I don't get want to it. step don't, on no, it. No, it's over my foot. Don't worry okay, about it. Okay, I just don't want to step on it. Okay, now let me get my flour and put a little flour on them. You only need about a tablespoon, a couple of tablespoons. Just till it coats them. Okay, now, let me shake it around a little bit here. This is what I'm talking about. Coat your blueberries, just a little bit. Don't try to do all this. Stuff. No, I was trying to get them away from water getting in it. That's what you said, it'll mold. I was listening. Don't mean I'll remember it tomorrow, though. Oh, okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit in this. Okay. Now, I'm going to shake it just a little bit. Now, I'm going to put some of these blueberries in there and hope that they don't sink to the bottom like they did yesterday or day before yesterday whatever day it was and uh, I'm 
Okay, now, let me pour some more batter over it. And just try to spread that around a little bit. Cover it up. Then we're gonna put a few, you need a couple blueberries for each pan. So that tells you about how many blueberries you're gonna need. And you can measure them out if you want to. I'm just putting however many I think, you know, needs to be in here, and then I'm gonna quit when I think I've got enough. We got more blueberries we can add to that. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna put just a little bit of batter on top of it. This is the tricky part, is getting the batter over it and not putting too much batter in one pan and not having enough for the other pan. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it down in there a little bit and leave a little bit on top here. It won't, it won't hurt them, I don't think. I'll take my spoon in a minute and go over that. See, now let me get a little bit down in this pan. Okay, I need to get me a few more of my blueberries. Where'd my blueberries go? Uh, I think you used them all. You're gonna have no, to clean some more. No, I'm right there behind you oh. on, on the table. Hold on. I've got some more over here that I washed the other day. Okay, let me get my flour. Kathy? This is just me asking. Do you mm -hmm. think this would be good with raspberry or would that be too delicate of a fruit? And it would just... No, you can use raspberries. They wouldn't just melt away? Uh-uh. No. Some people don't like raspberries. If you don't, uh, it's just like with the blueberries. Blueberries are delicate too. You can't smush them up, you know. Um, we might make some of this with raspberries, Kathy. Mm -hmm. The rest of your batter. Well, all my batter's used up on this. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Kathy went and bought some raspberries, and they usually just go bad because I can't get them too well, fast. We can enough. make more. We don't. We might make some general. raspberry bread. Something different. We can try the raspberry and see how it turns out, and you know, see whether or not they would probably want to try it. Okay, y'all. When I go to work and I take Kathy's home cooking, nobody complains. Nobody says nothing. They just say thank you and they eat it, and it's all gone. So when she says, I don't know if they'll like it or not. They've ate everything I've ever brought. And if you people live close, she'd fatten you up too. <laughs> Robert says I fatten you up. It's in the floor. Oh, Lordy. It. They're rolling everywhere. I don't know. If they, that's the bad thing about a blueberry. If it gets away from you, it's, it's in the floor. It's somewhere. I'm trying to get all these little blueberries out because I don't want to waste any of them. They're too expensive to waste. And uh, I'm trying to get them all over it so that there's blueberries everywhere. Okay, now. The rest of my batter going here. And the last time I had enough left to make a little loaf. And I think I'm going to have enough this time. So we can make a raspberry one out of that one. Oh, boy. I've got enough left to do that. Now, you need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Last time I baked it on 350, and I don't think that was hot enough. I don't think it got uh, brown enough, and just I just didn't like it like that. So we're increasing the uh, temperature to 375 this time. Okay, I'm trying to just get some batter over the blueberry. If you can get some batter over the blueberries, it works better. And that's what I'm trying to do, is just get a little bit of batter over them. Okay, now, let me go over here, let's see. Rinse my hand off. Take my paper 
paper towel and I'm going to go around the edge of my pan. Try to get any excess that's sticking up there because that will make it hard for you to get your bread out of the pan when you get it out. Now, after you bake this, you want to bake this for about 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes on 375 degrees or until it's done. You know, if it gets done, it's done. <clears throat> I'm going to set them, I, I kind of set mine catty cornered in there. That's just the way I like to sit them. And then I got enough room for my little little one. <clears throat> if you can pause it, honey, I'll go after and get that. Okay, got my raspberries. And you can see these are really pretty raspberries. They are really pretty. Uh, it's hard to find them this ripe. But I'm going to pick out some, some that are kind of smaller. I don't want the, I guess the real big ones right now. But we'll get them out. It won't really matter. Whatever I don't use here, Robert's going to put in his cereal tonight. I'm like Mikey. She makes me eat everything. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I will put a few bigger ones in there. He'll be all right. He'll be okay. So they don't just smush up and melt away in the heat? They're probably going to cook up, but they'll just kind of meld into the bread. They'll be, they should be fine, you know. Now you want to wash these a little bit. You have to kind of shake them around because, uh-oh, got that one. Dropped it. Because they have those that little hole in it. So you got to be careful and get most of the water out of them. I'm going to do it this way for just a second. Yeah, you don't want water in your batter, do you? No. And you're going to put a little flour on them. About like that, not well, a lot, just enough to. Let me see them again so I can focus it. With this phone, you have to tap focus point, and if you go real quick, then it's all blurry and nobody can see anything. Okay, now, let's get the some of the batter in the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna put the blueberry, or the raspberries in, and I'm gonna try to get them in there different spots all over it. And I've got a bunch here, so. <laughs> okay, now, pour the rest of the batter over the top of it. Then I'm just going to kind of spread it over the top of the raspberries, get them covered a little bit. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. You don't put any on top? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. No, you don't need none on top. Okay, there you go. Now I got to clean up my mess. <laughs> I made a mess, so while that's cooking, I'll clean up my mess and then we'll come back and take a picture of it when it comes out of the oven. Talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, I just took the bread out of the oven. It took 43 minutes on 375 degrees to bake these two loaves and that one little one. But anyway, I'm going to let you see them. And the blueberries, I think, have stayed suspended better because uh, I can see blueberries near the top, which that didn't happen the other day. So I'm going to turn it around and let you see it. There's the loaf. See the little blueberry right there? And I think there's one somewhere else. There's one right there. So they did stay up near the top. There's one right there. and uh, But they both are beautiful. Just that little bit of food coloring made them look better. And this is the small one that's got the raspberries in it. And, honey, it's fine. Quit How's that it. raspberry looking, boss? Flip it over and take it out of the, Wait, out of the no, pan. I don't know how to do that without ruining it. Here, give me the camera. <laughs> you just flip it over. She acts like I know what I'm doing. See, I've been in trouble with that happened with me. Well, it may be the raspberries down there. I don't know. It may not be out there uh -oh. long enough, but it should be. There it goes. 
See, it was the raspberries uh. stuck there, so you just have to let it kind of cool down before you try to eat it. Yeah, I can see the steam rolling. If you do the raspberries, you might want to use um, parchment paper in the bottom of it. Let yeah. go of it, honey. Oh, I'm going to scrape that off and eat it. I'm Don't waste put it. I'm going to put it on the bottom of the thing there. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to throw it away. No, I wasn't. I'm going to put it right there where it belongs. She's going <laughs> to patch it on there. Yeah, I'm going to patch it on there. And this goes right here. Uh, sometimes when you, there's fruit in your stuff, you need to put parchment paper in there because it can, uh, you know, stick to the bottom. And that kind of makes for a headache. But how's it taste? Tastes good. Good lemony? Mm hmm Not like crazy lemon or just right perfect? No. It's good. Very good. Um, but I'm going to wait about 20, 25 minutes to take these out of the pan. But... I'm sure they're going to be good. So you all try eat some lemon blueberry bread, and uh, it's really good. Big glass of milk or a cup of coffee. Yum, yum. Tell them bye, boss. Bye-bye. See you guys later.